Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of our DB Daily's vlog. We're down here with Stella today and her stunning orange TT. Stay tuned and we're going to have a walk around and ask Stella about a few of her favourite bits. So, Stella, we're down here today, we're down in Killorn again, down here in County Wexford. We're down here for Peter's vlog as well. And kind of, I got to know you through Adam Bates, which is Batesy bro, which is Batesy one of right, yeah. one of our D, the B of the DB at the start, I suppose. But he brought you into our lives along yeah. with this beautiful <laughs> car that's behind us. So, as the vlog usually goes, we go kind of chronological order. So, when did you get the car? How did you come across the car? Or what kind of got you into the TT scene over maybe other scenes? So I've always wanted an Audi. Yeah. Um, that was a given. I can, I can see why. <laughs> I've, I've had a fair few. It's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's my fourth year of owning the TT. And I wanted something small. Yeah. Because I was just really new to the car scene anyway. That's fair, yeah. Um, so the TT was just a perfect little pocket rocket yeah for yeah. sure hey i'm all on board with that that's no problem <laughs> at all and it is something i know look we've gone to dubshed many years we've gone to lots of car shows and stuff okay and we yeah. see a lot of a4s we see a lot of a5s you get the few a7s and stuff like that but the tt is not a kind of a car that you would see as much as maybe other exactly say, bag group cars yeah. maybe we'll say so it was a bit more unique i always want to do something different yeah and after buying this four years down the line i see them on their own way more but like <laughs> yes, yeah, i'm not, right. not going to claim the <laughs> yeah so sorry i'm an influencer okay <laughs> yes but um yeah i feel like for the two liter engines these engines are found in very, way heavier um cars yeah so it was basically getting my bang for my buck yeah. in this. It can go faster because sure. it's lighter. A hundred percent. No, no, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start at the front. Yeah. And we're going to work our way around it, right? Yeah. And then we're going to ask about top trees and stuff like that along the way as well, right? Okay. Yeah. So come along the front of the car, okay? So you can describe to me as we go along here. What have yeah. you done to the car, say? So the first thing I did when I got the car, it's actually originally Mythos Black. So the first thing I did was wrap it. To be honest, I wanted the car white in the beginning. Yep. And I didn't get a white TT, so it was black one. And then when I got to the wrap shop, I thought, we're here already. We might as well wrap it orange. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what it is? And I do think I said the very same to Peter when he was down here with his A6 as well. If you're going to wrap a car like that, why not go bold? Like, why but not have something that's going to catch your eye? No, I know it's not. People it, going. It, it definitely <laughs> does. I was walking around Dubshed. I was like, where are the guys? And it's like, boom. There yeah, it is. Yeah, just there. Yeah. yeah. So after the wrap, the next thing was, I think it's a must for most Audis, is the RS grill. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it transforms so, the I'll car. I'll get Peter to come down with me here as well. So the RS grill is basically the honeycomb grill yeah. pattern, isn't yeah. it? Like, and it is, and look at you're getting re usually the stock number plates and all are, are in here and they're flat. Yeah. Whether the RS six grills kind of they get rid of that yeah, and they keep exactly. it all honeycomb. It's yeah. lovely. Yeah. yeah. And look, it matches your fog lights and stuff as well, which is even better, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's great. And lips, we have a lip here in the front as well. Standard yes. stock. So, so that was the last thing I added to the car. It was actually my birthday presents. No, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So I got um, a lip and side skirts for my birthday. So okay. that was the last thing and I added to the car. And what company did you go with now um, for lips and side it's skirts? It's Rieger. Rieger, so yes, yeah, yeah. Rieger, yeah. Awesome. And it is funny because, look, we're making our way down the side here. But the, the TTs, they do come with kind of... A yeah, a, a flare skirt already. Yeah. yeah, but it's awesome. Like I think it is cool. Like, and to be fair to these companies that are making the aftermarket parts, like they do make them to go with the yeah. body lines. You know, it is quite a, a nice fitting kit to go with it. Like, isn't it? Yeah. So you went orange, right? And then we went to the wrap pack. Uh, no, I actually went to Rapid Design. Okay. Um, wrap pack wasn't existing back at then. At the time, yeah, yes, so of course, yeah. Two years ago. <laughs> but and was there a reason behind, say, leaving things black? Because I do, yeah. I love now. I like the black and orange combo. It is very good. But did, was it in your mind you yeah. wanted something different? Yeah. As well? So if I was just to wrap it orange, it'd be like any other orange car. Yes. So I wanted to add dimension with the black roof, and you'll see at the front of the front bumper there's black lines, and yep. like I've blacked out some parts of the bumper to make the front look different. Awesome. To say an, another. TT on the road. Yeah, for sure. And look, it is a thing that I've seen where people they paint their roofs black and stuff anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you just started with a black yeah, roof, yeah. so it's fine. <laughs> exactly. And I know, look, we're going to say 
it is this very standout carrot, right? And it is a carrot that grabs your attention, right? But I do like, even the likes of your sunstrip, it's subtle touches as well. Yeah. Like, so I know we're saying it is standing out, but like there is little subtle touches. So you went for a matte black sunstrip instead of like some crazy orange sunstrip yeah, exactly. and stuff as well. Yeah, exactly. And, and it, not white, so that it actually just like, it's very subtle. He looks black from far away. Yeah. But when you get to it, you can actually see what it says sure. on the screen. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so as far as wheels and brakes and stuff like that, what yeah. are we looking at here? So I, t I, I couldn't find a set of wheels I liked. Yeah. And then I was up the north. I seen an orange. RS4, brand new RS4, yes. with these wheels on it, and I said, I want those <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah. so That's the fema female impulses, <laughs> I got to have these. So this is kind of an OEM plus look, they're yep. not really aftermarket wheels, they're genuine Audi wheels yeah. from an RS4, they're actually called RS4 C's. Sweet. And then for brakes, it's just upgraded uh, brake discs, the drilled. Um, yeah. Discs from Brembo and the Brembo pads as well. And was there any need for spacers or something? Because I know the TTs are quite bubbly. Yeah. So did you have to put spacers on or anything? No. To match? So the original wheels, the offset was very. Um, God, it's a lower high. Yeah. Well, if we go negative, it comes away from the hub, isn't it? So we're looking well, at Adam here. ET52. And these are ET32, or those were ET32, and these are ET52. 52 32. Yeah. So, so the is. original wheel was, um, we, we I would have needed space with those, but uh, yeah, these thanks to Adam, he did the maths <laughs> yes, yeah. and we measured up the offset of these wheels and this is literally the wheels, yes. no spacers yeah, yeah, yeah. and they fit perfect. <laughs> to be fair, Adam's had a fair few cars along the yeah, line with a lot of shit hot wheels yeah. and <laughs> they've all fit pretty good as well. So there is, your fitment is pretty sick to be fair, okay, and I'm going to say about drivability now in a moment, but you are running airlift performance or, no it's or, actually well, air maxed you're lifting you're using yeah. airlift so yes say, yeah. yes but it's not airlift performance company it's actually air maxed air Max, yeah. so yeah the airlift performance is a little bit too high of a price for me to justify it Cra there is some crazy money prices yeah. out there like it's yeah. absolutely fantastic to get the performance parts yeah but sometimes price does not match the performance yeah, exactly. for what you it's get. not like i would be bringing this on track anyway so yeah, yeah, kind for sure. of but it is and like that with having your airlift you have excellent fitment now yeah but then you have drivability along exactly. the road as with well with the isn't front it? lip when i installed that now i have 10 psi higher to drive <laughs> because yeah, yeah. i am not losing that lip okay <laughs> yeah for sure i see a lot of static guys myself included yeah. they're going speed bumps and you're holding and you're on listening to it. <laughs> and you're taking like deep breaths in that might help and no, it, it does not help <laughs> okay but so we're going to keep walking around yeah. the car so on the side we got wheels we've got our skirts which match our original skirts that are still already there yeah. as well which are fantastic and we're going to come around to the back of the car so as far as upgrades you've done to the back of the car what would you like to describe that you have at the back here okay yeah so i went with the ttrs exhaust setup so the oval yeah. uh dual tips i will say the yeah. oval is so much nicer than round I, yeah. I, it is it's something. very oem again yeah. so i kind of didn't want it to look like out of place yep so that's the ttrs diffuser as well i had to get that because Super. the uh, stock exhaust would come out kind of here so yeah. you had to um, widen it out more yeah so this is a whole new diffuser awesome. and the tips as you can see there they have a hint of a neochrome kind of yeah, yeah they're i like, can see they're it i can see black it. and they're yeah. not silver they're kind of gunmetal gray with the, like a hint of it kind of changes colors in yeah, the sun that's awesome it's nice yeah but nice touch. one thing i will say right, we're walking around the car here and there's certain things that are catching my eye here <laughs> but they're standard things yeah. so even your lights and stuff yeah like the Audi did put together a good package when they made the they TT. Did, like, yeah. And we said it with Peter and a lot of other eight Audis that they have a serious presence on the road, like, oh, don't yes. they? And yeah. like a designer, they didn't just throw these together last minute. Like oh, these no. were, someone yeah. was designing these things. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. they make them look good from factory. And I think it is, it's very lucky for people who have Audis and Volkswagen group cars in general, yeah. that they do get a good foundation maybe to build a good show car off, they isn't do, it? They do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and as far as the spoiler, is this one where you initiate it or is it speed initiated? It's speed initiated, but you can do it uh, manually yourself. Yeah. For me, it has to be up always. <laughs> if anyone yeah. drives my car, I keep texting them like, your spoiler is down, you're embarrassing me. So <laughs> yeah. it has to be up at all times. <laughs> so it is so for people of YouTube, so you go over a certain speed yeah. and your spoiler will come up to... Yeah create downforce to help you drive the car yeah when you s you're braking it'll come back down yes but yeah. then you can you can have it up all the time yeah. if you like i'm ruining the whole concept of it yeah. but, but <laughs> you know what i mean? and like what you it were saying good. if someone else is driving your car it is a thing 
I know people probably that are living close to you, they see the orange, they see, oh yeah, they're Stella. Yeah. Like, a car <laughs> in Ireland, I think, is linked to a person, like, oh, you know yes. what I mean? And, <laughs> and it is a very, even if you were to part with this car in years to come or whatever, it would still be Stella's CT. Oh, like, 100%. You know? yeah, you, <laughs> you take for, it away yeah, from this. Remember who the new owner is, I feel so sorry. <laughs> this is Stella's CT. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep Peter coming around here as well, so people can see all the sides of the car as we're walking along. So, we're lucky Peter is behind the camera. He's going to do a little photo shoot later on. Yeah. So he's smiling at me now, so we will have pictures like <laughs> up around here someplace as well. So what I would ask you is kind of where do you see the car going in the future or where is your future with cars? Okay, so I guess for me, the last thing to do on this car is to get airlift uh, management system. Okay. At the moment, it's a manual setup because yep. that was cost, that yeah, was free yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the courtesy of Batesy Bra. <laughs> but um, yeah, it just, it's the, the, the two, the front and the backs are tied together. So drivability yeah. is a bit worse. Yep. So ideally in the future, I'd like to uh, just put airlift management into it. But as of now, <laughs> yes. my heart is set Tra on Traitor, <laughs> we've, we've a traitor to the car scene. I somehow accidentally bought a Japanese version of a TT. Okay. So it's a 350Z. I will say, yeah, it is a yeah. Japanese TT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I see this mass is going on in my head here. Okay, yeah, I see it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so my heart is set on that at the moment, um, getting it perfect. And there's a lot of plans. The list is endless. There are engine mods I want to do. There are bodywork mods I want yeah. to do. Kind of want to keep it a surprise. Goes crazy, yeah. Doesn't it? Like, yeah, for sure. So do keep it a surprise. Yeah. Keep it a surprise because <laughs> next your, video. <laughs> yeah, your your Instagram tag is down below. We'll have it. Yeah. So no longer that orange CT. It's just cars with Stella on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. So guys, do like get on to her and have a look at all the mods that are coming along the way. Okay. So if I was to ask you then come back to the TT while well, we're we're still in love with it. What are the top three things that you would call on the car at the moment? Okay, so the num number one is that it's on its guts. <laughs> <laughs> the airlift yeah. is my favorite part, even if it drives me mental every single day. <laughs> Put the booty on the floor. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is the most satisfying part when you park up, is just push them buttons and just air out. Yes, yeah. And then number two, if we walk around this way. Yes, up here, keep coming with us, come on. <laughs> The second thing is a stock thing on the, these cars, the okay. A7s as well. Okay. The A7 is my second favorite Audi. Okay. They have these spoilers. Yes. So that's, that's my second favorite For part sure. of the car. No problem. Yeah, yeah. And the third favorite part is a thing I built myself. Go for it. So <laughs> it's my boot belt. Oh, damn. <laughs> so people in Ireland always wonder how cars are going along, say how they're doing the air ride suspension, but you need a boot belt like this. So this is actually the tank that is full of air yes. for air yeah. rides, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> so it is, I will say, it's very tidy and you still have a boot, which yeah. is always good. Yeah, so it's, it's it's my my most proud achievement because I did it myself. So Hey, DIY yeah. is always an option. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was kind of like I was facing in Dubshed to another boot. Uh, it was a golf, I think. And he had paid somebody to do this amazing job. Yeah. And then my boot was facing his and I was like, I did that myself, like, Fuck. you know. <laughs> There's always pride, yeah. you know what I mean? That can always beat money sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, for sure. So it is, I will say, the whole car, I know we're looking at a really tidy, neat boot built here, right? But the whole car, it is, it's in immaculate condition and I'd like to say, fair play. Because it is fantastic <laughs> and it's lovely to see you and it is a serious eye catcher, right? Now, so for me anyway, I'd like to say thanks very much for bringing the car down. Thank it was kind you. of a last minute thing. We kind yeah. of nabbed you on the flight <laughs> and we're fighting the sun at the yes. moment. It's getting dark, okay? But I'd like to say, for me, I'd like to say thanks very much. And from the whole DVD Ellie's crew, I'd like to oh, say thank thanks you. very much for being a part <laughs> of the vlog. I will say we're going to do a plug. Yeah. So Stella and your sister yeah. have a company, Delta Lux. Yeah, Delta Lux is our business yeah uh, we provide detailing products at the moment so at the moment we sell drying towels mitts yeah and other sort of microfibers and a lot of products a lot of stock coming in soon no we yes, get yeah. ready for black friday so it's just delta hyphen awesome um or delta looks on instagram yeah go check us out really good products for caring after your beauties yeah i will say i agree with that i've seen adam use his one and it's literally you laid a towel on yeah. pull it back it's dry. Yeah, it and is. I have I've been on to Adam, I need I need you to hold on to one for yeah, me. I, I have will. like an auto finesse towel from like 
eight years ago and, and every it's, time it's dead. you think it's fine and every time you go to dry your car it's not fine you remember yeah i actually I need, need to, to get, get that <laughs> yeah for sure so look i'd like to say thank you very much for bringing the car down and i hope you don't mind too much that you're on our, our youtube channel <laughs> no i don't thank no, you <laughs> so guys i'd like to say thanks very much for watching the vlog series and thanks very much to stella for bringing down the tt i'd like to say everyone should get a hold of stella on her instagram and make sure to hit up delta looks on their instagram as well uh, i've been donors underscore db dailies hook up if you want to talk to us, get us through Facebook and Instagram, we're dbdailies.com either, where we have all of our merchandise. We've got hats, scarves, sunglasses, not that we need them now coming into winter, but we've got a whole new line of merchandise coming up with all new designs as well. So be sure to get a hold of us, have a chat, and then get on to some of our merchandise stores. If you're wondering why this thing is on my face, DB Dailies are currently doing Movember as well, raising awareness and raising a few funds for men's mental health in Ireland. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the vlog, and I'll see you in the next one.